Well, they've finally done it. After years of teasing players, Game Freak has finally proudly announced that Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet will be, quote, open world. Fans have been clamouring for a Breath of the Wild-style open-world Pokemon game for years, so why has it taken this long? As a matter of fact, Game Freak has been very hesitant to even try to make a Breath of the Wild Pokemon game, and for good reason. According to longtime Pokemon producer Junichi Masuda, Game Freak hasn't wanted to make an open-world Pokemon game because it already exists. It's the real world. When asked in 2017 about a Pokemon answer to Breath of the Wild, Masuda said, An open world like Zelda. If you were to be exploring that world and catching Pokemon in that space, would that be the best way to enjoy the experience? Or would that be more similar to how Pokemon Go is, where it's merged with the real world? While it's debatable whether Pokemon Go is in any way a Breath of the Wild-style Pokemon experience, this goes some way towards explaining why Game Freak has been reluctant to embrace open-world game design. That said, Masuda continued, But I also love the type of game like Zelda. They have this really strong setting and the gameplay really matches it. If we could find a way to make that kind of setting work with that gameplay and giving players a fun reason to go out and capture Pokemon, then there's always a possibility. But from my perspective, the Zelda type of game is more suited to having a sword and going out and fighting enemies. Not sure it should be best suited to going out and catching Pokemon. I don't think it would work if we just brought over the current gameplay and put it in that world. We'd need to have a good, interesting reason for players to be in that kind of environment going around and catching Pokemon. Based on interviews with other creators involved with Pokemon, it's clear that fan demand provided the impetus to find a way to make open-world games work. Speaking about Pokemon Sword and Shield, the previous generation of Pokemon titles, director Shigeru Omori said, We definitely really want to answer all the wishes of our fans and live up to their expectations. Which is something that's quite challenging. So, in that sense, yeah, there's definitely a pressure. Of course, you know, you see these sort of negative comments, and it does, as a developer, make you feel a bit down about certain things. But at the same time, you have to take criticism. Of the future of the series, he added, We basically just want to look at what does well and what we can improve, based on the kind of feedback we receive for Sword and Shield, and think about what we want to put into future games. In a 2021 interview, J.C. Smith, the Pokemon Company's Director of Consumer Marketing, said, we have a group of creators and professionals working at the Pokemon Company that have been through a lot, seen, heard a lot. They have thicker skin than many people do because they've heard it. So it seems that, despite not being particularly keen on creating an open-world Pokemon game, the team at Game Freak have been striving to listen to fan feedback. This willingness to listen to the fans is what led to the creation of Pokemon Legends Arceus a game which was very well received for its unique gameplay and fresh new spin on the iconic formula. Legends Arceus also allowed the team to try out making larger, interconnected game maps without quite going fully open world until Game Freak was ready for such a big commitment. It remains to be seen whether Game Freak can deliver two such games in the space of a single year. Building an entire open world game from scratch is not a simple process. A lot could go wrong especially given the short development cycle for Generation 9. One thing, though, is certain. Whatever Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet turn out to be, they'll be inspired by a genuine attempt to give the fans what they want. The moral of the story? As difficult as it may be to accept constructive criticism, it can lead you to discovering things you never thought you were capable of.